Hello there. Um, I have just had a heck of a time. I was trying to get my cell phone to uh, record because it really has some pretty good quality, but I couldn't get any sound out of it. I tried everything. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So I'm back to the old flip phone, not flip phone, flip video camera. And uh, anyway, I thought while I'm here, I'm going to do a quick book review. And I don't think I've ever uh, reviewed these books before. I hope not. If not, well, we're doing it again. Um, this first one is Free Thinkers. Uh, it's a history of American secularism. It's by Susan Jacoby. And this is a wonderful book if you want to see who we're standing on the shoulders of. People like uh, Elizabeth Cady Stanton. You probably haven't heard of her. You've heard of Susan B. Anthony. Well, Elizabeth was the first one who, she and Lucretia Mott got together a, the very first women's national, or like women's rights national convention. And then she paired with Susan B. Anthony, but all the things that Mary Stanton really led, she didn't get credit for. They really wiped her out of everything because of the fact that she was a free thinker um, and they didn't like it. And she wrote a women's Bible, which was very scathing about religion. And um, so they, yeah, even their her kids kind of like wrote her out of a lot of things. So um, that was interesting. And then in here too, it tells about like the history, for instance, of the Constitution. And it is so obvious when you read this and how detailed it is just how hard Adams and Jefferson tried to, uh, well, they successfully made the Constitution secular, but how much they had to keep out religion, that even back then there was like a strong religious faction that they were trying to insert things into the Constitution, amendments and things like that that were religious, and how they kept it out, and what it, the Constitution itself was based on. Um, very, very interesting stuff. So I recommend this greatly. I think you'd enjoy it. Um, I have two more books. You might say three in a way. Possibly you'll see why. Um, one of them is The Magic of Reality. It's by Richard Dawkins. This is a children's book. Um, but it, most adults don't know a lot of the information that's in here. Um, and if you, for instance, are reading this book, The Ancestor's Tale, and you don't understand when he gets to talking about molecular clocks, like I didn't really get it. I went to this book because it's written for children and I could understand it better. So um, I recommend both books though. Uh, they're just fascinating. How much Richard Dawkins knows. People should be admiring him so much for the amount of knowledge that he has. Oh, it's, it's incredible. I mean, but, um, you know, of course, instead, they're just like saying, he's an angry atheist, and they, they, like, put him in videos where they have, like, a little circle, and they have Richard Dawkins there, and then they have all the Christians over on the other side, and they go, let's go over to Richard, and he's like this little bad boy in a corner, you know, it's just, it's funny. Anyway, I have one more, um, and I don't have the book because I couldn't find it. It's called Gospel Fictions. Um, it's by Randall Helms, R-A-N-D-E-L-H-E-L-M-S, and it's a wonderful book, Gospel Fictions. So it's telling about all the fictions that are uh, found in the Gospels and why Matthew is different than Mark, you know, why they're written differently um, and in detail. I'm, it's really wonderful. Why water was turned into wine instead of into flour, like in the Old Testament, to fulfill a prophecy. You know, they call it a prophecy. And, and all these wonderful things. Uh, I don't want to give away any of it. I really would like you to get gospel fictions. You can get in paperback for almost nothing on Amazon. Richard Carrier um, said this is the go-to book. He recommends it. So you know it's good. So that's it for now. Let's see how this, well, we know this one will work. It'll just take me a while.